This is Mary Kirby with Runway Girl Network, and I'm interviewing Panasonic Avionics CTO, David Bartlett. Thanks for talking to us. Oh, thank you. Now, um, I flew on Aer Lingus uh, for AIX yes. and had a wonderful experience, but at the very beginning of the flight, uh, there was a moment of uh, disarray where the in-flight entertainment system wasn't working, and the flight attendant immediately jumped on the intercom and said, fear not, we're going to reboot, and then everything was fine and it was absolutely perfect, but for those moments when it wasn't working, passengers were genuinely concerned. Yes. So in a world where there's a lot of folks that say, you know, embedded IFE is not going to last very long, mm. everyone has their own PEDs, um, I found it interesting to have that experience where people really were concerned yeah. about the IFE going down. So given that, where do you see the future of embedded IFE? Well, I mean, I definitely think there is a future. It's something everybody asks me, but you know, it's uh, people love technology. There's so much we can do with it. We've just barely scratched the surface as we move forward. I was describing this morning some of the new outcomes we can drive with it. As we make more engaging content, um, passengers look forward to, it's gonna stay. I mean, it's up to us, right, as an industry. If we can create the engaging content, they'll definitely look forward to it and look forward to getting on planes and seeing it. Okay, yeah. and of course your next platform is a cornerstone of what that's all going to look like. That's right. But it's also, it's not just hardware and systems and software, it's a whole reimagining of what in-flight entertainment and connectivity entails. Can you explain it to the uninitiated? Yeah. No, it's, it absolutely is um, all about that. So we've set up a platform to really uh, be a foundation to drive new outcomes that the industry is looking for, that the passenger is looking for. How can we deeper, more deeply engage with a customer uh, and based on their preferences, their likes, the things, the, the type of content they want to see, uh, whether that's uh, esports or gaming or new levels of shopping or being more selective on food choices. There's just so much we can do. Uh, in that period of time to make it a more interesting experience. Understanding preferences in terms of the genres of films or the music, cultivating their playlists, uh, working with universities to do accredited education. So you see what I'm saying? If we can really improve that, that content, and we speak about that in, now in terms of outcome. What's, what's a new outcome we can do in terms of a theatrical experience or a marketplace experience uh, that would engage passengers? If we do that right, then those IFE systems are here to stay. Um, they're going to be something the passengers will continue to look forward to seeing. Um, the announcement about the collaboration with Gate Group is fascinating. It's kind of part of what yeah. you're describing here. Um, and, and something that I found interesting from your press conference earlier is that you know, reducing the amount of wastage on board, it, it's a big deal. Yeah. And sustainability is a big deal. And you think that this technology and this relationship is going to drive perhaps a reduction in wastage? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, right today it's kind of guesswork what to put on board plane. We've all yeah. been on the plane, right? And it's like you've got two choices, but by the time they get to you, you only have one choice. Right. Because absolutely nobody wanted the fish on that day, right? <laughs> so, so. So what happens is you get a lot of wastage. If we can understand preferences, and we can do this, um, again, through a marketplace with analytics to understand what people's preferences are, or through personalization and companion apps or pre-ordering food before they get on flight, um, and just trends. I mean, we're studying uh, in our analytics trends in terms of what are food preferences, what's, you know, everything is, um, if you think about food and coffee and everything, it can be a bit trendy, right? Everybody wants to have the, the latest twist on how, how they take their coffee, or everybody's now doing kale salad. Or uh, So if we can understand those trends better, understand people's preferences better, I mean, let's face it, if, according to IATA, we're wasting 5 million tons of food a year in aviation. If we can just make a dent on that, it'll be a huge impact in terms of sustainability in the planet. So, uh, so David, obviously, um, there's a great expectation now from passengers for an at-home experience mm. in, the, in the sky, and that yes. includes an at-home connectivity experience. That's a very difficult proposition when you've got aircraft flying 500 miles an hour and talking yeah. to satellites. 
Uh, the pressure's on, obviously, and Panasonic is, is working to uh, roll out its third generation network. Will you be able to accommodate that at-home experience in the sky? Well, that is the goal. Yeah. As you know, we've, and, and I know you've reported on this extensively, yeah. uh, the, and so our investments, just as a testament to our commitment in extreme throughput into spot beam technology, um, in, increasing our coverage around the globe, how we're using our network management to better do the traffic shaping. You know, because the thing about bandwidth, even on any situation, is you don't want anybody to use the majority of it, right? So right. how do we use it as a group more responsibly uh, as, a, as the capability evolves? So how do we manage the network? How do we to shape the traffic going through? How do we govern uh, some of the usage versus other usage to achieve that? Because that is our goal, is to achieve the same experience we have at home on the plane. I am confident we will do that. Um, are we there yet? No. Uh, but we are continuing to invest heavily in this, and I think we've made great strides. Some of the Gen 3 technologies with the new uh, Gentech modem is proven on magnitude faster and more reliable than what we've seen in the past. So that's you're already seeing some positive yes. results. Yes. I know it started rolling out now on what, Southwest and United. That's right, right. Southwest okay. United, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you yeah. very much. Well, thank you. Yeah.